Welcome back guys. So today we are touring commercial spaces and we are actually on our way right now to our very first one. We just need to conceptually see what these places look like. We need to get familiar with the whole project. There's no other way to learn it except for just jumping in. So we're gonna go tour a few places today and see what Houston has to offer. The sky is our oyster. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. All right, first spot. They're gonna take us to one of the newer buildings. So yeah, it should be around the size of the floor. This is about what we thought it would be. It's uh, This is 3,000 square feet. With um, some offices back there for the studio space. Yeah, they were talking about putting up walls and moving things around. So it seems really modular. It's just gonna depend on what it is that we want. And, right. um, and what makes sense with the doors and stuff too. Like there's glass doors back there and we don't necessarily want those going to the shop that might be better going into the office space than shop space. So right. lots of stuff to think about. A lot more customizable than I was thinking. Yeah. So that's really exciting. Um, but this is just the first place, so. Uh, can't fall in love yet. We got no. We got other places to look at. So, well, what are your initial thoughts? I think they're the same as mine. My initial thoughts. Uh, I think three thousand square feet is like perfect. Now, now being able to walk it and feel how big it is, and imagine some of our tools um, and tables and all sorts of stuff in there. I think three thousand is the sweet spot for us. Yeah. So that was good. We learned something. What is this? Is this also 3,000? Is this 3,500. 3,500. 3, okay. Come follow me, just take my hand. So I'm thinking about it more as we're driving to this next property, but I realized that the back door um, opened up to like a res uh, residential area and a golf course, which is really pretty, but it was really low to the ground, and I don't know what it would do if it, we got a lot of rain or there was flooding. Already, there was already standing water right behind the back door. Right. And it has only been thunderstorming the last couple of days. So it's like, this wasn't a tropical storm. This yeah. wasn't a huge rain event. And, and we if have it's to... already pooling up back there, we got to think about what it's going to be if we have a hurricane hit Houston. Like, right. We, is it going to flood the shop? I don't know, just something to think about. I know what you're probably thinking. Of course you would think about if a hurricane hit your shop, but like, for, for real though, for real. There wasn't much clearance on that back door and it backed right up to a super grassy, wet area. So, gotta keep an eye out for water re reduction, retention, I don't know. Gotta stay focused. Pooling on, you know, certain areas. All right, so that was a really nice place. All these places sort of look the same, and it just it's just more, the theme of today is we need to figure out what we need. Yeah, yeah, because it looks like every place looks just about the same, just in different sizes, um, and we have all the freedom we want for build out for the most part. So yeah, 
just figuring out what we want within the size we want. Yeah, this place seemed like they just didn't want to, they wanted to play hardball mm -hmm. with customization and price. I mean, I asked him like one tiny little tweak on something and he basically told me to pound sand. Yeah. So our broker asked him something similar and he told our broker to pound sand also. I mean, of course he was way more polite than that, but. Alright, so that last place we just looked at, we didn't film much in there because there's still another business that's operating out of there. They're just leaving soon. They're about to move out, which is why it's potentially available for us. Um, but just to be respectful, we didn't, you know, film all around their area. But it was nice. It was definitely more of an industrial park type feel, which is cool because that potentially brings the rent down for us. Um, a ton of office space in that one. A, a we ton. love the office space. It was just the warehouse wasn't insulated. Um, it was plenty of space, it just wasn't insulated, and right. that's going to be really nasty in the summertime. Um, it's going to be hard asking people to work and lift heavy tabletops when the building's not insulated and it's Houston in August. Not so. to mention managing humidity is going to be a problem in there too. We get a you know three or four days of rain in there and we don't have a big enough dehumidifier, it's going to get real nasty. Right. So sometimes it's worth it just to have it insulated because then that's more of a moisture protector than it is just a temperature protector. So. But overall, I mean, we just wanted to see that style of property, something that wasn't so like standalone, it's a little older, it's a little more industrial, and just see how we liked it. And overall, we liked it. So we might go view some more properties in that style. Which is nice because those properties are a lot cheaper than the nice newer ones oh, yeah. we saw earlier this morning. So and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. It's exactly what we need. So, yep. Now we're going to go get lunch because we've been going all day. Yep. Are you guys having fun with this? Do you like this? Let us know down in the comments. Do you like seeing what we see? I like it. I'm having fun. <laughs> Glad he's having fun. But yeah, let us know because when we walk in these doors, this is the first time we've seen it too. So your first time seeing it was exactly our first time seeing it. So yeah. So after viewing a few of these places, it's just become clear to us that we need to get a little bit more here. I'm driving now. We need to get a little bit more crystallized on what it is that we want and need. Yes. because it's basically choose your own adventure and it's a little bit overwhelming with how much flexibility there is. It all comes down to what do you want and how much do you want to pay for it? Because you can literally have whatever you want as long as you're willing to pay for it. Yes. So if we want five offices, we can do that. If we only want two, we can do that. We just have to decide what we want and how much that's going to cost us. So anyway, we it just it's very obvious to us that we have more work to do. They can show us all the properties in the world but we already sort of know the square footage and we already have a budget. So now we just need to try and negotiate in the middle to find out what it is that we want. Yep. So today was a big learning experience. Yeah. We saw what, four, five properties? Yeah. Six. I, think like, I thought four. Four or five. Four or five different properties, <laughs> six or seven different buildings in total. And mm -hmm. we're shocked at how similar they all looked. Yeah. Um, some of them are new construction, some of them are a little bit older, but they're basically just a big tin can and you get to build out the inside however you want. And that was one of my biggest questions going into today is how does the build out work? You know? And, yeah. And like how do you choose where to put your offices? Who builds them for you? How much does that cost? What's included in your, you know, rent price? Just lots of new things we're learning. If, if you've rented a residential property before, you know that like you rent the apartment or the house, however it is. If you want to make any improvements, that's either on you or on the landlord to negotiate with you. In commercial, there's what's called a TI, a tenant improvement allowance. And again, according to the business owner and how you negotiate it, like baked into your rent price is you getting to reshuffle things around mm -hmm. and put walls up and tear things down and air condition and non-air condition. And you can really do whatever you want to in these spaces as long as you're willing to pay the rent, you know, to offset it. Right. And that's why after every place we toured today, you heard us say, we just have some thinking to do. We have to figure out our stuff is because we can do really whatever we want. It's just balancing how much would it cost to put in, you know, five offices versus how much would it cost to put in um, a couple areas with cubicles. 
So it's really deciding, you know, what we want, where we want to go. And that's really overwhelming because our creativity is going a thousand different directions. Mm -hmm. We really got to hone in what it is exactly that we want. That way our broker can go in and negotiate for us. Right. That's what we're going to take care of tomorrow. So subscribe and we'll break all that down. We'll figure out what it is that we want and what we're going to give back to our broker so that we can go find the best place for us. Share these videos with a friend. If you think this was interesting, please share this video with your friends. We're yeah. trying to hit 100,000 subscribers before Thanksgiving. It's going to be really hard to hit it, but I think with your help, we can do it. We just want to make more content for you guys. And the only way that we can do that is if we hire some people to help. And the only way we can hire people is if there's a certain threshold of money. So share the video with somebody. It's absolutely free. It helps us out a lot. So and make sure you keep watching because this is a really exciting step for us. We've been looking forward to starting um, to tour places for a very long time. It's really exciting. And this is the first step. Ask me how I do it. I just stick to the plan.